Good afternoon. The company's team and me, the head of this company, Sergey Ivanov, welcome you. Today we are at the Tula go-kart track, an open one. And we continue go-kart tests. Last time, together with Andrei Lobov and Resource Company, we did the first test on a closed area. And now we are checking the reliability of all the changes that were made after the first test. Last time we had some deficiencies in the mode amount and the fact that the belt transmission was not transmitting power, the teeth were slipping and we could not transmit all the power from the motor to the undercarriage. This time we corrected those shortcomings. We put the chain transmission, which will allow us to adjust the gear ratio, because we changed the sprockets more quickly and in multiples of one tooth. We replaced the motor mount with a professional one which means that now we have very good adjustment and the chain tensioning is done perfectly. In previous tests, our gear ratio was around 3.5 and this did not allow the cart to accelerate on the straights, well, accelerate to the top speed. All the pilots and mechanics commented that this mount is perfect. The alignment of the sprockets is perfectly maintained to the millimeter. There are no misalignments under any loads. The drive sprocket can be changed very easily and quickly. We were able to test four gear ratios on the cart. For this cart, specifically, the most suitable gear ratio is from 3 to 3.5. And if you have no problems at all at 3.5, we also had a belt drive at 3.45 and you know, this is the ideal ratio at which the cart picks up the speed of 80-82 km per hour. But we decided to increase it. We tried a gear ratio of 3 and less. And, well, if it is around 3 or less, the motor begins to overheat. Why does that happen? It's because it's under a lot of strain at that ratio. The track is short and there are a lot of corners. When exiting the corners, the throttle is always on. Before the corners, the brake is on and the motor starts to overheat. I think we can handle it. We will change the hood so that the motor will be blown by the oncoming airflow. We've had this experience before. We did it on a sledge in the early days of our activities. We had a DA90 motor overheating and when we did the additional airflow from the sledge movement, when we added it, the motor never warmed up again under any load. We had sport tires installed during this test But despite that, the powerful motor would sometimes take the cart into a skid. And during one of the races, as a result of serious overloads, our tire rods broke. That is, the steering rods failed. As experts explained to me, rods are especially made loose on sports cars in order not to damage the expensive frame in an emergency situation. Well, just like on cars. The silamin steering rods break. But the frame of the car doesn't suffer from that. It was noticed that the accelerator pedal doesn't always work very well. Here is the gas pedal device that we have made. It is not yet finalized. Well, either we will return to the old Bosch version or we will finalize this one, we will see. Why are we being so thorough in our troubleshooting? The customer wants a product that is more reliable than the gasoline options. As they said before, 
the product must meet the standard of the military and industrial complex of the USSR. And we are striving for that. And not only the motor should be reliable, the whole construction should be reliable. That is, the whole product should not cause any doubts in the customer's mind. This is what we are striving for. Thank you for your attention. See you again.